So Dad, he was actually jackarooing in South Australia and Granddad died suddenly in a car accident so Dad had to come home, didn't get to see his dad for the last time and got, you know, took over the farm. So yeah, he's, he's done pretty well. He's bought more land, he's um, established his sheep stud, so sheep have played a pretty big part in the history of this farm and yeah, I'd really like to keep carrying on what he's, he's started because he's just worked so hard. Well, I guess you always see farming businesses and they'll have so-and-so and sons and seeing as dad and mum only have three daughters, we just thought we may as well put and daughters on there. My husband is really supportive, but he's definitely not a farmer. You know, he's a, a guy from Bristol who moved to Australia when he was 10 and works for a pharmaceutical company. He didn't really understand the whole, it's not a nine to five job, five days a week thing, and he's slowly getting there. And he actually said to me the other day, it does get in your blood, doesn't it? And I was like, yep, <laughs> it's only taken him seven years, but he's getting there. So we had a meeting on it the same night and he was at the Child Care Association and they had scones and cups of tea and um, sitting on these little chairs for two year olds. And I was at the pub eating a steak and chips and having a couple of beers with all men and he's with all women. And he was actually joking around with all the girls that my wife's at the pub and I'm here. So we do have these role reversals but then he's still blokey. He still comes to the pub puts a bed on and then I'll go home to the kids. After having my daughter, she was six weeks old and we were just trying to see if it would work. How can I do this? So we put the bassinet in the tractor and she would lie in the tractor and sleep four hours while I was putting the crop in and then I had a sl uh, sling and she was breastfeeding while I was driving the tractor and she was amazing. It's hard, you know, you don't really like going out when it's stinking hot or when it's freezing cold or when you're meant to knock off work at five o'clock but then this mob of sheep decides that, no, they don't want to go into the yards, we're going to, you know, run amok. So um, they don't understand that you told your husband you'd be home at five o'clock um, and that your kids are expecting you to read them a bedtime story. is this um, perception that you need to be really tough and that you need to kind of be a bit manly to be a farmer and I just want to make people see, or women, all men, that it is possible. You don't have to be extraordinary to do it, you just have to try. And people have said to me recently, do you think you're a role model and, or you are a role model and I've gone, maybe I am. Which is surprising because I've never tried to be that, I don't think that I'm that, but, but now I think I am, <laughs> which is nice.